Alright, hello and welcome back to another video. Now today I'm going to try and attempt to play the M48 Super. Now this tank here, uh, oh it's an M48, but it's got a thousand horsepower engine, it's got DM33, it's got thermals, and it's also got a bit of add-on armor, which uh, is really nice. Now here on this map, first thing I'm going to do is uh, hold W right into the B point here. You always have to watch this corner though, as you can see a tank already actually drove past, so I should watch that corner. That was a terrible shot. Um, you know, looks like uh, he won't be able to turn his tank around in time though. And we can safely get off another shot. And capture the zone in the process. Now, uh, here at the start of the battle, you know, you're always gonna uh, well, have a lot of chaos, but it should quiet down a bit. But yeah, we just kinda have to survive the first horde of vehicles and then everything should be alright. Ooh, a bit of turret desync there. Almost got us killed. Luckily, we were able to shoot him uh, before he shot me. Looks like they've also captured the C point now. But our team is, uh, well, they're doing a bit questionably on A, I guess. But I don't think it's going to get captured by enemies. So our team shouldn't uh, be suffering from ticket bleed. Oh, we do actually hear another tank here to our left. I don't quite know what it is. You know, it's a bit risky to push out of here. And uh, I don't really see anybody. I think it may be a French tank here in front of me. There we go. Looks like we got his driver. Which I'm not sure how much that helps me. Just because, you know, I don't actually see him. There we go. We got his cannon barrel. That's a bit more helpful. So uh, I guess we can try and push him now. And we're just going to quickly get rid of that BMP-2M. And it looks like this AMX-30 is also retreating now. Okay, he had just led me to a completely unaware enemy tank that I otherwise would not have seen. There we go, we get his cannon breach too. I guess that's also something though we can do. But um, yeah, let's just shoot a shot into his side here. And, uh, oh, that doesn't actually kill his driver. Okay, well, at least we did set him on fire, so we know that he's not going to be repairing anytime soon. And there we go. Third time's the charm. Not sure if that was the third time, though. Anyway, um, let's uh, quickly get out of here, because we're basically in front of their spawn right now, and I don't exactly like that. And uh, maybe let's try and... Uh, never mind, I hear a tank. Problem is because of the helicopter here, I can't really hear where he's going. But I think he is in front of me here, there we go. We were able to get the shot off there before he got his missile. But um, yeah, I, right now our team is not exactly doing very good. I guess, uh, well, we've gotten the B point, but the C and A point are both captured by the enemy, so... Uh, Oh, we're gonna have to get one of them back. So yeah, let's see what'll happen. Well, it looks like they've actually started capturing the B point now, which isn't very good. I'm gonna throw an artillery strike on there, hopefully not get shot from behind. Because that is something that you also have to be uh, careful about. So let's try and make it into the city area here. Before we get uh, spooked by anybody from behind. Don't really know what's on the point here. Looks like a BMP2 that's staring right at me. So uh, let's not push him. And instead maybe try and uh, go around this side. Although this is something very risky to do. You know, it looks like the BMP is also... Uh, not really retreated, but... Oh, that is bad. There we go, looks like our heat up S there did save us. Problem is, uh, yeah, we have sort of ran out of uh, barrel. Oh, and it looks like another tank actually got us. Yep, as expected from behind. Well, let's try and spawn in a backup now and maybe we can try and save the game. There we go, we hear a tank here in front of us. It sounds like a uh, BMP or something. I don't quite know where he is. Of course, we'd have to pay attention to the AFT-9 that had also killed us earlier. 
Oh, okay, that was a friendly. Yeah. Good thing he uh, told me in chat there. Oh, there are lots of tanks here. Uh, oh, that's not good. Oh, sadly, I can't shoot through that right there. I'm gonna try and reload around. I don't know where that guy's gone. Uh, there we go. And uh, let's try and get to the B point now. There we go. Looks like we do hear the BMP now. Actually, we see him. Uh, oh, okay. That was a bit easier than I thought it would be. Seems to be another tank here, though. I don't quite know what it is. Sounds like a Russian medium tank. Maybe a T-55 or something. I'm going to let my team know that there is uh, some form of tank there. But let's try and get onto the capture zone now because our team is running out of uh, tickets. Oh my god, I think today is a bad shot central. I'm going to quickly get out of that area so that I don't get shot. We're going to check this corner here. Yep, there is a tank right there. I'm going to let him know. Oh, Weasel, please do not push that. I mean, you could. You can be bait for me, but uh, there we go. Looks like our leopard here has successfully got him. And I guess uh, we can soon uh, deal with that T-55, which is all the way up there. There we go. We see the T-55. And uh, yeah, that was uh, quite an easy kill. Right into his ammunition or his fuel or whatever. And uh, yeah, makes quick work for him. Alright, for our second battle here, we are on Seversk 13. Now, of course, uh, on this map, you always have to watch out for people on the other side of this road. Although I think this time we are uh, relatively in cover. I'm going to try and go to the B point here. Capture it, get myself some zone points. And then after that, we'll be able to, uh, I don't know, maybe go to the C point later on. All right, now we do hear like something like an XM1 maybe on the uh, other side of this building somewhere. Oh, that is such an unfortunate shot. Thankfully for me, uh, my teammate was able to kill him there. And uh, I'm gonna now get myself a new crew member because, uh, well, yeah, probably better to do. Okay, so here, and it looks like there's a tank in front of me, but also next to me. So I'm going to focus that one to the right first. Afterwards, we can focus on whatever that's over though. That's bad. That is an M247. Let's quickly get behind this building here. And uh, yeah, hopefully he decides to push us. There we go. We... Where is he going? There he is. There we go. Turret to... To the turret, shot to the turret is uh, always safer on the M247 because that's where all his ammunition is. Let's try and focus on what's happening on the right now. Now, uh, we're just going to look around this corner. Doesn't seem to be anything too impressive around there. But uh, right here is where the action is. So we're going to kind of have to uh, constantly be looking over here to the left. Oh, I do hear something in front of me, actually. So I'm actually going to have a look at that first. But I don't quite know where they are, though. That is a bit of an issue. Okay, well, we see him now. And he didn't see me, so that was uh, quite an easy kill. Alright, well, we can try and focus this tank here to the left. There we go. We're just going to quickly shoot through the building there. And uh, reload another shot. It looks like there are quite a few enemies here. We see a WMA-301. There we go. Let's quickly get rid of him. Get back into cover here. Was that a shot towards me? I don't think so. There's also a tank to the left here. Oh no. It looks like there is something in front of there. Uh, I'm gonna... Pop smoke here because it looks like the B point is also getting captured. So I should probably go look at that. Alright, well, right now I don't exactly see anybody. But these fences can be quite uh, obstructive, if that's even a word. Oh, I think he's on the other side here. So I think right now I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, there we go. We see some smoke clouds there. Not smoke, but you know what I mean. Some uh, dust. We're just going to watch that corner there. There we go. Uh, we got his cannon breach. 
Oh, wait, but there's another tank. Well, that's not very good. There we go. That gets rid of him. Sadly, my track here is out. Um, so I'm just going to have to hope that my AMX 30 friend can go get the 279. I'm going to tell him in chat 279 breach out just so that he knows that, uh, you know, he can kill him. And then after that, we can go capture the uh, B point. There we go. Looks like he got him now. So, uh, yeah, all that we have to do now, go on here, get some spawn points, and then we can uh, maybe try and go to sea. Alright, looks like we've successfully captured the zone now. There seems to have been a medium tank here somewhere in front of me, but I'm not sure if he's still alive. So let's just carefully peek the corner here and see if there's anyone waiting for us. Oh yeah, we definitely hear someone. Um, don't know where he is though. I think he just got shot on the map there. So I think we can safely push this area. I'm gonna go more into the city here because I don't want to get spooked from the uh, outskirts. But it looks like this AMX-30 probably breached him or something because he is quite confidently pushing him here. But I hear a tank to my left. I think I'm going to pay attention to that instead. I'm going to let him know there's a tank there. I think he's going to come around. I don't know right now, actually. Let's see. I'm going to try and call an artillery strike on the other side of this building here. Hopefully my Amex 30 friend uh, will see him. There we go. Looks like he shot something. But I'm not sure what damage he did. Oh yeah, that guy's looking right at us. So I am not going to bother pushing that. Oh, was that a tank? No, it wasn't. Looks like he's been shot again here. Um, Alright, well, he's popped smoke, so I think he got his breach or something. Uh, I'm gonna let the AMX already get the kill here because, uh, well, I think he uh, quite deserved that. And uh, I guess we could try and go to the A point now since that's getting decaptured. Alright, well, in the end here, I guess we were able to capture three zones and I think kill six enemies, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, there we go. And now that gives us 2,700 score. Um, let's go on to the next video now. Or not video. Battle. Alright, for our third battle here, we are here on Nuclear European Province. Um, yeah, no, this is uh, not optimal because... You know, the sun's shining right into our eyes. Luckily, I do have uh, thermals, so I can actually just do that. Although I think that was shot wasn't exactly the greatest. Yeah, there we go. Sadly, it did miss. Um, but yeah, very bright sun, very bad. Even the thermal sites is kind of harder to spot tanks. So uh, yeah, we're going to try and get out of here as fast as possible. And there we go. We do see a tank over there. We're just going to quickly laze him and shoot him. No, we actually did get his driver and loader, sadly not his gunner, and there is absolutely no way that we can stop here, because that would, uh, will be very bad. Oh my god, that scared me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Looks like, uh, our ally there shot him. I don't know if that's a tank or not. Oh, that was, though. That was a tank. Luckily, he didn't do too much damage to us, so we're able to uh, get into the low ground here, and uh, hopefully at least safely get to the B point. All right, well, uh, now that I've successfully captured the B point here, I'm going to try and uh, regain a crew member. It looks like there is, however, a BMP something moving up in front of us. We are going to uh, get out of the capture zone here because I actually kind of want him to decap it so that I can uh, get a bit of extra spawn points by recapturing it later on. Now, I don't exactly know where he is. I'm going to point him out for the team here. Just so that uh, they can engage him if they want. It looks like he's gone to the left here now. Um, it's not... Yeah, there we go. We see him there for a bit. Don't quite know what it is, though. Well, we already said BMP, but... Uh, could also be an Object 906. 
to 685. Sadly, their round didn't make it on time. Looks like there's another tank here in front of us, though. Uh, I don't quite know what it is. Uh, this sounds more like a BMP, actually. Um, or maybe not. I have no clue. I'm going to point them out for the team as well here. Now, the thing is, I don't want to get shot from this side, so I can't really stay here. Oh, he looked like he's deployed a drone here. I am going to... Uh, Try and hide here for now. So that he can't just uh, push us if he wants to. But yeah, we'll see what he does. Oh, looks like we have another tank over there. Looks like an M247. The thing is, I uh, can't really focus two tanks at once. I'm going to let that light tank there know that there uh, is a tank right over there hopefully he'll be able to do something about it here the BMP seems to be uh, very interested in me it's a BMP 2 not a 2M so that's good um, oh, sadly he is moving a bit frantically here so I can't really uh, push him I'm not quite sure as to what happened to that uh, M247 there earlier. But yeah, now, right now we're kind of in a duel with this uh, BMP here. There we go. We uh, avoided getting our track shot out there. Looks like this BMP now is going to try flanking me. Which uh, I'm not going to let happen, of course. Or maybe I can try reverse pushing him here. This is always a bit risky to do because, uh, well, the M48 doesn't really have gun depression when looking backwards because of the engine deck being in the way. You kind of have to play around that here. There we go. Shot on the fuel tank. Does actually kill BMPs. I have uh, learned that the hard way when I was playing it. But yeah, if you ever see the back of a BMP, just shoot it because it'll explode. Anyway, let's go try and uh, deal with that M247 now, which I believe has not actually died yet. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Uh, he's right there. So it looks like we can just go to the A point now. No, it looks like there is a tank there on the B, uh, not B point, on the A point. It's, uh, Pipe 16. This is not good. I hear another tank here. Two, I, uh, what is this? Like, front, I guess, now? Sadly, he may know where that we were here, so, uh, I'm gonna turn my engine off and hope that he, uh, forgets about my existence. Oh, he turned this off as well. <laughs> uh, I guess we're gonna be busy dealing with the uh, I'm gonna have another duel then that's how it's gonna be oh that is a terrible shot I don't know what I had shot there probably the uh, piece of wood or something it looks like we got the loader and horizontal turret drive of that type 16 but um yeah I don't know uh, what's gonna happen to the tank in front of me here I do know that he is to my left. He's probably going to be looking around this road. Yep, there we go. Uh, Roikat MTTD. Very good tank. Very short reload. I guess it has a bit of a vulnerable ammo, right? But sometimes you kind of bounce off of the upper frontal plate. So that is a bit of an issue in this instance. Now, um, I guess for now, I don't have too many options. Uh, that Type 16 is probably going to get repaired soon. So that isn't really good, but also pushing this corner is a death sentence. So uh, I'm going to back up here so that I don't get shot from two angles. There we go. Looks like we were able to get him here. However, now someone has gone on to the... Uh, what is that? The B point. So uh, yeah, no, we can't push that. I think that's an IS-3 or something. So uh, let's go try and deal with that. Luckily, the OF-40... Should be covering what's happening behind me, I was about to say, but no, there's actually a tank right there to my uh, right. I should probably look at that as well. I don't know if that guy there is looking at me. 
Ooh, that was close. Looks like we were able to prevent the B point from getting captured. Now we can focus on whatever tank that is uh, in front of me here. Oh, I don't actually have a visual on him yet. I only have an uh, audio, you could say. Yeah, there we go. We see him now. Doesn't look like he's looking at me, though. Well, we got his trend. It's certainly better than nothing. But, uh, yeah, I don't think we're getting anything more than that. Yeah, sadly, even if I shoot through the Roy Cats here, I'll only be able to uh, do that. There we go. We got his loader and his horizontal turret, which is certainly better than nothing. But, um... There we go. Looks like he has exposed a bit more to us here. And thankfully he jet out and we can now focus on the BMP that is uh, yeah, next to us. Or maybe it's died now, I don't know. Regardless, let's go capture the B point now. Alright, well we've been uh, able to capture the B point now. There isn't really too much to do now because we've got all three capture zones so... Uh, yeah, the enemy seems to have also ran out of players, so I think this match is uh, basically won at this point. Oh hey, that guy got a team kill on her drone. <laughs> yeah, it looks like our team here at the A point had a bit of trouble with the Type 89, so uh, they've actually all died now. So what I'm going to be doing is, uh, well, going to the A point now, because, uh, well, either I'll defend it from getting captured, or I'll recapture it. And, uh, well, oh there we go, looks like he's actually on the A point now, so let's uh, call in an artillery strike and uh, hope that no one snipes me from behind here. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Looks like I actually got an artillery strike on him. The problem is they're still capturing the zone. So there's actually more than one tank that's here with me. Uh, let's see, sounds Chinese or Russian. Other than that, I can't really identify too much though. Oh no, there looks like there's actually like one, two. So there's actually three total tanks that were here. Here we go, we see that guy. We're gonna ignore him for now. We're just gonna chill here. Oh, looks like that T-55 there is, uh... Yeah, not gonna deal with me. But I uh, do want to deal with him, so... We're gonna see what happens. There we go, looks like he's already getting shot there. So I only have to focus on the light tank here in front of me. I don't quite know where he is. There we go. That gives us another kill. I don't know what this tank here is. He's starting to move now. I think he's like right in front of me here. There we go. It's a falcon. We're going to let our team know that there is a tank uh, right here. Hey, yo, Obel. Bye, guy. Ooh, I almost got a track shot out there. Well, hopefully he will be able to help us. There he goes. Yes, you had got him in the end. Thank you very much. And it uh, looks like we can now capture the A point. Ooh, this is these two is actually getting shot though. I don't know from where. I'm just going to get behind this building here and hopefully I'll be fine. Oh, looks like there are a lot of tanks over here. Looks like the T-62 has died, but uh, this mystery light tank here hasn't. There we go. Looks like uh, he was taken care of now by our friendly Centauro. And that is basically the game. There we go. Um, I guess in the end we had gotten six kills, three capture zones, so a very similar result to our second game there actually, but, you know, I guess you could see that this tank is both very, well not very survivable, but it's quite survivable, at least more than a leopard, and it also still has a great mobility because it does have a 1000 horsepower engine. Alright, well uh, hopefully you have enjoyed uh, this video here, uh, you know, the M48 Super, I think it's a great vehicle, um, you know, great engine, great optics great mobility you know nothing really much to complain about and uh, yeah that does it for today hopefully you have enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye